What's going on, guys? A little bit different format on this video today. Um, I'm recording right off my desktop and doing some video overlays. But this video, I want to talk about top tools in my fish room that maybe, like, I know people have done these videos all the time, uh, but this is my top tools, and I think uh, they're going to be a little bit different than what other people have. Uh, so let's get into it, and we're going to start, I don't know how many I have, but we're going to start with number one, and it's my ring alarm system. This alarm system uh, not only protects my house, uh, you know, with door sensors and motion sensors, but it's also got some other features built into it that play a role in my fish room. The first feature is it's got a water leak detector. It's this little sensor that you can set on the ground, and if it detects water, it sets my alarm off and when my alarm goes off not only does the alarm in the house go off which is through like the keypad and the speakers uh, it also text messages me they call me the alarm center calls me and they also call my sister who's listed as emergency contact so usually i get a phone call from her about my fish room has a water leak this has actually saved me a couple times in the past and it's just something that is an active uh, reminder to me in case something goes wrong uh, moving on is a blower fan a blower fan is kind of one of those things that you don't really think about but with having a fish room water accidents do happen uh, there's somewhere around 40 fish tanks in my fish room and having a blower fan uh, in case there is a water accident which there is uh, helps you know dry the floor out quickly and uh, helps mitigate moisture issues in the fish room. The next thing is, it's still moisture related, but is a humidity gauge. So I actually have two in the fish room. Uh, one is a clock with a humidity gauge built into it, and that is to, so I can keep my eye on the time while I'm bagging fish. I bag fish on my lunch breaks uh, most of the days, and uh, it's the initial view of my fish room when I have humidity issues. Uh, the second one is a really cheap, uh, smaller unit that shows temperature and humidity, and I place that at the other end of the fish room to make sure I got good uh, air circulation throughout the room. Uh, the next one is on other people's fish list, I'm sure, but is a TDS meter. Uh, I don't really check water parameters all that often to be honest uh the thing i check the most is tds and nitrates and nitrates i only check on uh planted tanks that i'm overdosing fertilizers to try to boost some growth and the tds meter is great for my shrimp tanks and my snail tanks because if my tds is going down in number i know i need to probably add some calcium uh, for my snails uh, they seem to really eat up the calcium in my water and I do um, add additional calcium to the water using either chicken eggshells I do have a video I'll drop that in the description a link to that video and also calcium sulfate uh, which is a dry powder form I guess next up is something really simple uh, that it's one of the things that I overlook all the time in the fish room but it's sticky like command hooks these aren't like the 3M command hook brand. These are from the dollar store. They're just a plastic hook uh, with double-sided tape on the back. And I have these throughout my fish room, and I usually hang uh, fish nets on it, sometimes airline tubing. If I got like a little section of airline tubing that I'm using to siphon like a small tank or I'm trying to siphon something and not get fry. Uh, the other things I hang on it are um, small python uh, water changers, uh, siphon kits and also scissors and tweezers for trimming plants in the tanks it's just something that's really simple and i have them stuck right to center blocks on the racks uh, but they stick pretty much to everything i have had one fall off the center blocks after like a year or two of use but they're so cheap i think they were like a dollar for two or three of them uh, at the dollar store so it's, it's one of those like little things that uh, i use every day um Let's move on. The, what, the One of the last things, I guess, I, I tell people all the time I use a lot, and I really do, is the Nano Fish Net. This is a product I sell, so I don't want the sound to sound like a, uh, a, a sales pitch to you, but I really do use these things all the time. 
from catching fish, snails, shrimp. I even use it to move substrate around, to move plants, to actually lift plants up out of the tanks. Uh, with my, my plant rack, the 29 gallon tanks, instead of sticking my arm in there to grab the plants, they're usually potted, I use the nano extension to get down in there and move it. And it is a fine net, so it's really nice for small stuff like shrimp, but it's also extendable. That's what I really like. So if you if you can't get it into a tank because the tanks above it are too close, you can shorten up the net length, or if you need to get to the back of a tank, you can extend it. I use it a lot. I mean, all the time. And um, I think these are just the top things I use the most around the house, and most of them are things I don't even really think about. And I guess I could also say the dehumidifier is another tool that is actively used. I don't know if it's actively or passively, because uh, it runs all the time, but uh, that's also another thing that my fish room would not function without, because before I used a dehumidifier, I was getting moisture buildup on the ceiling in my fish room. When you start getting moisture buildup, you start getting mold and other issues. So definitely a must-have in my fish room. But uh, that's really all I have for this video. Just a quick, uh, kind of the small things I use that maybe don't make other people's list of all these. You know, maybe they're listing like uh, Seachem Prime or, you know, chemicals and fertilizers they're using. These are some of the tools that uh, might be a little bit different than what other people have. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this was a quick video. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.